All right, Nagumo, it's time to keep cooking. What's up, guys? I'm Punzo, and here we are to do a nice little breakdown slash live reaction and review to chapter 152 of Sakamoto Days, aka Godomoto Days, by Yuto Suzuki, which is known as Speed... Speed Run? I... I'll be real with you, straight from the front. I may have heard some things about this chapter. I may have heard some things about this chapter. If what I heard was true, I'm not buying it. But that chapter title's already throwing me off. What you mean speed run? That sounds like a video game term. I know Gaku's the gamer guy. Suzuki Sensei, don't do this to me. Don't do this to me. I'm trying to have a good day, Suzuki Sensei. I can, you know what? Let's not even waste any more time. Let's hop right into it. Editing me. Ready. Three, two, one. What's up, guys? That guy with a pencil here. Fun fact, I do happen to have it on me and keep it on me at all times. Call me Nagumo, a.k.a. Godumo, a.k.a. He better not lose. He better not... I swear. You see, here's the thing. I, sh I was busy when the chapter dropped. Then again, I saw comments about this chapter being crazy, like, a few days ago. I forget, like... If Sakamoto Days releases early somewhere, someone tell me so I can react to it then. Like, I, I always feel bad waiting for the official release. I mean, I, I kind of don't. Like, you should always read the official release. In fact, I usually, retroactively, for all the series I cover, I usually go back and read the official release anyway, because it'll change context. Typically, it'll have different scaling implications, and especially whenever I do versus battles or talking about stuff or translation things, I always try to go back to the officials, right? Because the officials are the officials. They're where you get all the information from, all the juicy data from. And sure, you can use TCB, especially when the official are kind of whack, especially in the case of something like JJK, but like for Gotomoto days, it's it's not like these characters have like super crazy in-depth powers that fundamentally shift their tiering if a translation is off. So if someone knows where I could find early Gotomoto days, feel free to tell me, because your boy is blind. But interesting. Once again, bro pulled up with the invisible plane. Sorry. I didn't think I could beat you. Oh no. No. Nagumo, you can't say that live on air. No, Nagumo. What do you mean you're an order member, Nagumo? Don't tell him you're getting cut. No. By Gaku? By Ga not Uzuki? <laughs> Nagumo, if you're struggling with number two, how did you expect to go bar for bar with number one? I could say the same about Gaku. I really could say the same about Gaku. But, like... Don't... Have I been calling him the wrong name? Is it Takamoto or Takamoto? Hold on. Hold on. It's time to whip out the Googler. Taka... It's not... I think it may be Old Man Tamamoto. I think I... I forget what I was saying last for you. But I feel like I said the name wrong. Sakamoto days. Old Man Tamamoto or Takamoto? But essentially, like... Both of y'all kind of... Takamoto. Old Man Takamoto. So, like... Both of y'all kind of... Gaku. Yo, you're getting tagged by Nagumo. Nagumo, don't get me wrong, it's still it's still good, but like, I thought you were taking Takamura when you're when you're trading blows or getting tagged or getting pieced up by Nagumo. And Nagumo, what do you mean you can't beat him in a fist? Like I get Gaku's like inhumanely strong, but so is everybody. Nagumo, you took like a blunt pseudo axe tool blade and knocked an airplane around. Like Bako, you're telling me you couldn't beat Gaku in a fist fight? But you know what? Here's the thing. Here's the thing. This is just the Nagumo Glazer in me freaking out. Because, like, it makes sense. Because Gaku has been established to be not the most physical force in the series. Especially with, um... I'm not gonna bother. Until he gets more fights and more screen time, I will not bother to remember Sports Guy's name. He will always be Sports Guy. But Sports Guy is clearly implied to be the more powerful of the two, at least just by how they interact and the narrative standing that they both have relative to each other and based on like the superior position of the Sports Guy. At least that's what it seems to me. But at the same time, Goku is definitely meant to be up there as like, in terms of just raw physical stats, one of the strongest. Like, straight up, probably stronger. Probably number three. Probably above Hyo. But only beneath characters like... Usuki? Maybe. Maybe. That's a maybe. Prime Sakamoto? Maybe. I don't know. Depends on what you think Nagumo's, like, memory of Prime Sakamoto is. If he thinks he can't beat... Then again, I don't think he thought he could beat Prime Sakamoto in a fist fight. It really depends. I don't know. 
Oh, it's just embarrassing for Nagumo. But then again, Nagumo's not really a straightforward fighter. Like, it was established in the Sakamoto's past. Like, bro was born into, started in, and simply left the spy department of the JAA. Left the spy department. So him fighting underhandedly like this makes sense in character. And the Invisible Blade is a really cool twist. I do like that. But I wonder... Like... To Sagamoto days always rise the line between, oh no, we're just going to give these characters superpowers, with the case of Shin, and also, no, we'll, we'll try and give some, like, reasonable explanation for characters having these abilities. Like, I remember when Kumanomi was first introduced, I was, when I was first reading that, I was like, oh, I guess she just has, I guess she's just Magneto. <laughs> like, I, th I guess she's just Sakamoto days Magneto. But they explained she has the um, the magnets that are just really, really strong, and she knows how to wield them really, really well. But Shin just has superpowers, so I wonder if Nakamo just has like a magical invisible blade. Let's see. So, sorry, I didn't think I could beat you in a fist fight, so I decided to cheat a little. <laughs> playing it smart, playing it smart. Trouble is, it only works once since it gets soiled with juice. Ah! Like, can't you clean it? Like, can't you? Can't you just like? I don't know. Like, I don't. My katanas, they, they need to be clean. Like, they, they, oh, they look a little rough. But to be fair, they also spend, like, a whole bunch of time in, like, a, a wooden sheath. So, like, obviously, it's not going to look that bad. But still, can't you just, like, wipe it off? Like, that's what cleaning cloths are for. Not look like, it, shoot, I use, like, tank tops to, <laughs> to clean some of my blades. I don't know, Nagumo. You can just wipe it off. I guess in the middle of a fight, that'd be dangerous. But even still, Nagumo. Nagumo, you're very clearly a trickster and a guy who deals a redirection. I feel like this may be a redirection of itself. Like, really, Nagumo? It was only a one-time use? I mean, I guess most of the time when he would use it, it would be a one-time, one-execute. Like, his opponent would not be living to tell the tale anyway. So he's probably cleaning it post-battle and probably just got into that habit. Transparent glass? No, it's ceramic. Now that I've gotten a better look, it's not totally invisible. Ah, okay. So it's kind of just something that reflects or, like, is transparent to the environment. Ah, okay, I'm seeing the vision, I'm seeing the vision. He distracted me with all those flashy transformation tricks. This guy is a tricky one. That's my goat! That's my... Is Nagumo my favorite character? That's a genuine question. Is Nagumo my favorite character? I don't think... So. I really do like Nagumo, though. Which is so weird. Like, in, in terms of characters that I like... I forget how popular he is, too. He's not number one. I think it was Shin who was number one in one of the recent... And I think the only popularity poll? I forget how many popularity polls there have been for Sakamoto Days. 152. It's been running for like the past three plus years. So I think maybe, maybe it's longer. I remember, have there been multiple popularity polls? I don't remember. But I know he's in there. But typically, Nagumo type characters are ones I don't favor all too much. Like, a lot of my favorites from other series are not like Nagumo. In fact, they're kind of the opposite of Nagumo. So my extreme favorite for this guy, I don't know. I think it's the contrast that he brings relative to Sakamoto's crew that makes me appreciate him so much. Because whenever he's on screen, he's just different. He's just... Like, he has easily the best fight out of the Order versus the Assassin crew that came. Even As much as I love... I guess technically it's just Sakamoto versus... Not a, is it a part? I believe it's Sakamoto versus a part. But, like, even with old man Takamoto's intervention with that battle and like slicing like one of the i think one of the best feats in the series like i forget i think that's commonly used to like calc stuff or like it's supposed to be argued as like the peak of the series the slashing of the japanese tower like as cool as that fight was seeing nagumo absolutely toy with minim minimize someone literally i saw the comment where they just dropped all the names because they could tell i was struggling and i appreciate it i should have just had that pulled up. in fact i will pull it up right now i need not the googler when i have youtube studio one moment i'm going to pull up that gosh darn comment sakamoto days come to me i don't have that many reviews up on you i don't have that i don't think i have a single sakamoto days discussion video which is something i'm going to need to fix one of these days but hold on, let me take a look in a book reading Rainbow. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Character names, pin this for reference. Mayafuro Seba, the kid with the mask. Perfect, thank you. Haruma Shotpaga. Haruma. I don't know why, that's such an easy, why do I consistently forget Haruma? There's no reason for me to consistently forget that man's name. I'll admit, there's no reason. But for some reason, it just does not stick. Like, the, the neurons just cease firing whenever he comes up. I don't know why. Haluma 
shot put guy, Kanaguri, movie director. I got Kanaguri, mostly. And then again, I did struggle in previous review with him. But I got Kanaguri. Let's see. Satoda Sensei, the teacher, the go, minimalist. The guy who compares it, minimalist. I called him minuscule, minimalist. Nagumo vs. Minimalist is probably my favorite fight in the series. And I know that's a high praise, considering all the different Sakamoto Days fights. But I feel like it establishes Nagumo, and it takes it takes almost... I'll have to do like a full proper breakdown on that fight. I see it everywhere. It's one of the few Sakamoto Days fights that seems to have transcended the fandom, in spite of the anime not getting a... Well, no, the manga not getting an anime yet. Minimalist versus Nagumo seems to be something that I see everywhere. I've seen people reference it in like their own fan art and stuff like that. And it has so much in it that I'm going to break it down individually, but I think that is a big contributing factor to why I just love Nagumo. And why I'm hoping, and coping, that bro doesn't get cooked, even though I've heard dangerous things. Ooh, dude, he's dripping, dripping. You won't last long if you don't get that wound treated. Nagumo, stop yapping. Get rid of him. <laughs> Darn it, bro. I'll be spitting everywhere. Get rid of him. Execute him. Drop him right now, Nagumo. I'm begging you, bro. Please. Cut the yapping. As a, as a yapper myself, please cut the yapping. Just drop him, bro. You have other object. Like, once again, bro took way too much damage if he really thinks he's going to go bar for bar with Izuki right now. Like, remember, that's Nagumo's original. That's the thing with both of them here. Like, Gaku wanted Takamura. Nagumo wanted Uzuki. Neither of them are anywhere near that level, at least presumably. And now they're both damaged. And they still want smoke. I'm not sure. So Nagumo, if you don't hurry up and take this man's head. And I love Gaku too. Don't get me wrong. I'm definitely just a Nagumo glazer. A Nagumo... What, what word is synonymous with glazer that goes with N? A Nagumo... No, a Nagumo nitpicker sounds negative. A Nagumo... Whatever. A never-ending Nagumo Glazer. Well, let's just go with that. I'm a never-ending Nagumo Glazer, so... Obviously, I'm a bit biased, but I love Gaku, too. Gaku has also some of my favorite... I mean, to be fair, him versus Takamura is kind of just watching a massacre. But, but it's so cool, so I'll give it that. And he just does have metal moments. Like, the fact that he literally sli had it, After having his arm sliced off, it was like... Man, man, I don't need this anymore. And he just lobbed that talking about great stuff. But man, I really want I really want Gaku to get cooked here. If if it's him or Nagumo, I'm taking Gaku. I'm taking I'm sacking Gaku. I'm not taking him, I'm sacking him. Let's see. No, I'm good. Oh lord. So that old dude with the katana wasn't the only one. Giving up. You don't seem like the type who's worth a bit of fun. Uh oh. Gaku been suppressing himself? Speed run. The chapter is called Speed. He's gonna like, please load him. Nagumo, please tell me you got more in the tank, bro. Please, I'm begging you. And yeah, and Nagumo, since he doesn't look like the type, drop him. Take it. Take it, Nagumo. Finish the job. Not what did you, I got options. Want a keyblade to do it? I got three. You want you want a master sword? A dark master? I got it. You want Thor's head? I got it. Nagumo, stop looking at him and start whooping him. But let's see. I get more fired up when there's a time limit. Now, we're entering. Ah, oh, no! I swear, Nagumo's cooked. He's gonna be cooked. Why is the chapter called Speedrun if he's not gonna be cooked? Oh, and this is such a cool panel of Gagu too. No! Continue. Okay. Interesting. So he was in video game mode, but he did... He kind of got washed in video game mode. So let's see, let's see what he does here. Entering Speedrun mode. I, I don't really speedrun. Like... There's some games I know really, really well, and I can move relatively fast through, but I've never, like, speedrunning has never been my thing, mainly because I'm the kind of guy who likes to mess around a whole lot in games, but I think, like, the only game I try to be remotely fast or efficient in is fighting games. It's like, that's the whole point of the game. I'm trying to beat you down as quickly as possible. That's the only game that's speedrunning, but that's not speedrunning. Like, you know, what? You're gonna speedrun Smash Bros. Ultimate? The Dragon Ball Z Fighter Story? I bet I could I could probably make a whole speedrun category myself on the Dragon Ball Fighter Story, and no one would contest me. Because no one wants to play that garbage. But, still. Uh-oh. Look at Nagumo. Nagumo went from, hmm, well, I guess I gotta smoke you, to, wait a minute. Because <laughs> he knows. He, he, he read the chapter title. Bro, bro heard, wait, speedrun. That's the name of the chapter word. Oh, no. Oh, shoot. Gaku coming in, mocks. And he just made, did Nagumo, into a car? 
I'll go, oh no, they're gonna cook my pot. Please, uh, please. Not bro, flying. And this is just fists. There ain't a weapon in sight. Bro said, you know what? I got hands. I might as well use them. No. Into the car. And he literally got slammed inside. He's inside the vehicle, bro. Did he get slammed through a, a car door? Oh, my. Nagumo's not looking hot, my boy. No. He's going to be cooked. I want to read it. Rest of the chapter in canon. No. I shouldn't. Stay hydrated, folks. But no, please. Not my boy. Oh my, he's a poor movie monster. Bro, you already beat the door down. There was no reason to leap through the roof like this. What is he? Some kind of demon? Hmm. Oh no, but Goku's weaving everything. Ah! Who's left? It is just Takamura, isn't it? It's Takamura and I guess Sakamoto. But I don't think, like, I'm in the common consensus that Sakamoto's fallen off. I still don't think he's at his prime yet, or surpassed or anything like that. I think he may be able to reach it in, like, very, very, very short bursts if he's, like, off one. But even then, I'm not sure if we've ever seen that. I, I <laughs> feel like if God, but I guess Gaku will be heavily, but then, who's going to help Sakamoto against Suzuki? Who? Ooh. And he's not going to just be fighting Suzuki. He's going to be fighting Rion plus Suzuki. Bro's caught. <laughs> he's caught. <laughs> how, how are we supposed to win? It, the the chairman. He's going to have to be different. Um, Uzuki's older brother. He's going to have to be different. One way or another. That's the only way that this doesn't end in an absolute clean sweep for Slur. If Nagumo is actually cooked here. This is the question. I'm, I'm worried because of what I was told by a friend. And the way Gaku's just bobbing and weaving right now. But the chairman, he just has to be crazy. And to, presumably he is crazy. Because I remember in the Sakamoto's past start, it's established that he was like, he was just right beneath Yotsumura. Yotsumura and pretty much, I'd say even a level above Shishiba, who's obviously another order level fighter. And sure, you know, the current chairman used deception and tricks and slaughter and you know all the different things he did to reach his position but i don't like at least in sakamoto days i feel like you can't reach a position of power without having some sort of strength behind you especially in the jaa like look at look at the top members look at the previous top brass of the jaa kindaka and yotsumura Characters who, while way past their primes, are pushing fresh in school, close to prime Sakamoto tier characters, and have abilities that seem to transcend, and are only outdone A, because of their age, or B, because they do themselves in. Like, Yotsumura just is past his prime, you can clearly tell that by how Shishiba dogs on him, because Shishiba very admittedly dogs. I think Yotsumura lands one hit. Like, it's clearly not a relative fight between those two. Well, I'm going to chalk that up to Yotsumura being out the game for a minute. Because your boy's a Yotsumura glazer. I glaze a lot of characters in Sakamoto days that most people wouldn't. But, and Kendaka just did himself in. Because Uzuki, you know, needed him gone. And I guess Kendaka. But then again, Kendaka's supposedly still alive. So, like, <laughs> there's questions to come with that, but let's see. The immediate weaves, immaculate. Where, okay, where does he keep getting it from? I swear, this is... This is teleporting. I don't know what... Can he summon it? Is this his special ability or something? Does he have inventory? Because look at this. Look at this. I need, I need y'all to read this with me. Because I'm, I'm, getting, I'm getting a little bit nettled. Let's, let's check Gaku's hands right here, bro. One hand is holding his belly. The other hand is on the ground. Do you see his weapon anywhere in this shot? Right... Where is it? It ain't here, right? Did not come to a conclusion on that? Obvious. Obvious. It ain't here, right? Let's see. Where's his weapon? Here. None. Not even remotely. I, you know, I guess. Then again, we don't even see his weapon here. And it's way too big for him to be holding. Unless he's holding his hands like. Unless he's holding the weapon like super duper like this. But even then, he can't be holding it like that. Because the roof is only as wide as him. He must have, like. Unless he's like riding the weapon, gosh darn. Like it's a magical broom. And he like burst in through the top. He should not have his weapon. <laughs> Come on now. Suzuki says, I love you. And I get it as to the choreography. But come on now, Suzuki says, don't be doing this to me. If you're going to cook Nagumo, I guess it's better to have him cooked with the weapon than just bare hands. Let's see. 
could probably just make the car zoom straight into midair. Okay, Nakamo, Nakamo, please. Oh, you look so tired, bro. No, they're gonna get him out of Suzuki says, I spare him. Turn into Nakamo Suzuki. Don't be Yuto Suzuki for a second. For me, turn into Nakamo Suzuki. Don't get him, my boy Nagano. Don't get rid of him. I'm, I'm fumbling my words because I'm so scared for my boy. No, please. No. He's literally close. They're gonna blow his guts out. No. He's gonna have his guts rearranged. And not in the way that some people want them to be rearranged. <laughs> Please. The thing is, I can't even get mad because these are such beautiful panels. <laughs> you ever. <laughs> it's like. Spoilers for that manga. Spoilers for that manga. Like, there are other series out there that'll do some of my favorite characters dirty, but 9 out of 10 times, I can't even get mad. He, I just noticed he shattered Nagumo's multi tool. We are cooked, y'all. We are cooked. All oh, oh, fellow Nagumo stands out there, we're done, son. He broke his weapon. But uh, there are a lot of other series that will do some of my favorite characters ever crazy dirty. Crazy, crazy dirty. But typically when they're doing it, they look good. <laughs> I'm thinking of moments from Magi. I'm thinking of moments from Dragon Ball. I'm thinking of moments from Naruto. I'm thinking of moments from Bleach. I'm thinking of moments... Not from One Piece. So I haven't read that yet. I mean, some moments of One Piece, because I've glanced. All of that, I've, I've been on and off keeping up with the manga. No, I haven't read the back half of it. I'm kind of just following Oda's recommendation. Oh, he finally started the story for real, for real, after a thousand chapters? Let me start reading. But I would review it. Trust me, I would review One Piece. But I'm scared. I'm very scared. <laughs> I'm scared. I'm tired. I'm scared of them. They, they, oh, they, they, were the, they were my first copyright strike. Then it was JJK, which is all the situation now I think about it. But still, yeah, I don't know. Something, something scary. Something very scary about them. But... I'm thinking of a whole bunch of series where they do some of my favorite characters dirty, and it always looks so clean. Like, I'm so mad. I, like, I can't be mad because this is such an epic visual. Seeing the force that Gaku thrusts down with to the point where his hands are literally shaking, the spools of bandages are coming off of his weapon, and you see the impact straight shattering Nagumo's multi tool and forcing him down, dog. So good looking, but this is cooking my boy, please. <clears throat> Straight into the ground. Oh, but he still got some. He's got a little bit of on him. Okay, Nagumo. 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 Please have like secret, super crazy. Ne please say something along the lines of, you know, I didn't want to do this. Not unless it was against them. But you know what? You leave me no choice. And then he like does some please, not go, please don't get cooked. I'm back at you, please. No. No. No, we cut out. No! Don't off screen no! Off screen him? Are you taking notes from Gay Gay? Why? There's no other re cause look at this. They have this pseudo clash. It look it kind of just looks like Nagumo. Hold on, let me let me get the let me get the full scope of the page here. Okay, no, they do tag each other. Cause Nagumo's blade passes through and you see the burst. But then again, it looks like Gaku's weapon also passes through and you see the burst. But just look at the look at the looks on these two faces. Nagumo's just he's tired, but Gaku's locked it. No, not my son. No, not Nagumo. Take anyone. Take Saber. Take. When was the last time Lou did anything? It has been like ages. I don't think she's been relevant since the the foreign assassin arc. She has done nothing now that I think about it. That is crazy. I, I don't know what just made me hit that. Real, I, I was going to go on characters I'd sacrifice and I, Lou literally came to mind. She hasn't done anything. But I guess she's like... I guess that's typically, that's the point of her, right? Like, she's not really supposed to be. But, like, I don't know, I'm thinking about it. She has not been relevant to an arc in, like, a hundred, not a hundred. When does the Foreign Assassins arc start? It's way before the 100s. It may, it, hold on. Now I'm actually, I'm actually genuinely interested. When, when, uh, let me just look up Minimalist. If I can find him, then... I should be able to determine just generally where the arc is. Oh my. 
46 was his last appearance. So it may have literally been 100 chapters since Lou's been relevant. At least in, like, the main shonen scheme. Stay 100. But that's crazy. Soccer. Get rid take anybody else. Don't take my son from me. Don't take my son from me, Suzuki Sensei. Second floor. Oh, we cut back to side. Yeah, he got off screen. He got off screen. Suzuki Sensei. Why you want to me like that, man? I was having such a good day. I was tired as well. Get up. I was having a good day, Suzuki Sensei. And now you're just going to off screen him? For what? What do you do? What do you do? Bro gave, bro gave him one good fight and said, nah. <laughs> I'd off screen him. Oh, oh. You know what? There's still hope. Chapter's not over yet. And you know, they they, they clash relatively evenly and Nagba looked them up. <sighs> Alright. Let's just let's let's just not tweak. Let's stay focused on peak. Which drops every week. Alright. <clears throat> Second floor, lobby. Oh, wh what were those noises? Slur and his croup must be here. What'll I do? Oh, this is so awkward. I mean, to be fair, she did just reunite and reallocate her beliefs back to Sakamoto, who is jiggling and wiggling. Sakamoto, I think you're going to need to drop them pounds off. If you couldn't beat Kanaguri, if you could, I mean, sure, he's probably gotten strong, but like, if you couldn't beat Kanaguri, you really think you pulling up on Uzuki and them? Really? You're a Kanaguri victim, not a victim, but like, even once you slim down then... Kanaguri ate your whole wobble combo for breakfast, lunch, dinner, and a snack on the side. You're telling me you're running around still slim? You better lose that weight. You better lose that weight, and you better go back to prime. You better you better reachieve that next level of strength, bros, because right now, I don't see a future for anybody right now. Everyone's going to be cooked. Once again, I'm kind of, if Nagumo loses, I'm kind of failing to see how we get this dub, unless Shishiba's actually just a demon. And, like, I know there are, I saw the Shishiba hype beast in last week's comment section, but, like, and as much as a Shishiba hype beast I am myself, Osoragi's down her weapon. Shishiba's facing a two-on-one. One with a person who may hard counter his weaponry, though admittedly, they have information. So presumably all Shishiba's hammers will be immune to her magnetic pulls. But Kudanomi has a full museum of objects to pull and launch in the general direction of Shishiba. While we still have Haruma, well, not just supplying range support with... Anything he gets his hands on, if it is somebody else's hands even. But also that close quarters power. Osaragi, no weapon. If Nagumo falls here, I think we may be cooked. We may be, but then again, I'm not sure. Are We We aren't going to go bad timeline, are we? There are one of two things. Either Nagumo has to still be alive. And he has to have somehow squeezed out, this, squeezed out the juiciest dub from Gaku. And... And or... And we may just lose. But I guess. Woo. Yeah, we're, we're, in a, we're in a very rough spot. I'm really interested to see how the narrative takes this. If what I heard was true. Please tell me it isn't. I don't see any JAA members. What's going on? Mr. Sakamoto! Oh, Shin. Oh, good. You're okay. Sorry I'm late. Where's Amane? We got separated. Got it. Tell me what's going on. I, I, you know, I don't necessarily talk about Sakamoto too much in spite of his, his, like, name is the series namesake. But, like, I really do like his composure, especially in a situation like this, where a lot of other characters would get lost in the heat, even say his older brother over there. He would get lost in the heat, the fever, the crazy of the situation, desperate and moving. Sakamoto's like, I've got my captive safe. I'm keeping her safe. She may still be insane and obsessed with an angel version of me that doesn't exist, but at least she's willing to listen. We are in trouble. Like, he's able to bring that air of calmness. I'm not going to say levity, because levity would imply, like, they're making jokes with him. But no, that air of, like, control. As in, you don't have to necessarily worry all too much because Big Sakamoto's here. But just going off the previous scaling that's been established, I'm not exactly sure how, even with everyone here, how they're going to clutch up a dub. I just don't see them, especially if Gaku's alive. Because remember, both Seiba and the girl never caught up to Gaku. Not even close. He was literally beating them up while playing a video game. So, like, I don't know if the... Hmm. Yeah, this is a concern. But let's see. 
It seems Slur and his gaggle of fools infiltrated by... <laughs> infiltrated by <laughs> the exhibit? <laughs> infiltrated by helicopter. The Mayafuyu double decker destruction <laughs> the ddt if you will the dream drop distance attempt was only a diversion with the enemies on site the jaa's priority will probably be to eliminate them there's a lot of potential well oh, there's a lot of potential for collateral damage do you really do you really do you really think they care like <laughs> well i guess that's the point that's the point no, nah, but they really, they really, like I know the J is all about like, organizing, holding up rules, and assassin protocols, and all that. But like, yeah, okay, I guess maybe they care. Seva, you open the entrances and evacuate the bystanders and my Fuyu. Will do. Oh wait, I, it's my Fuyu, not Seva. What about you guys? You should come with us. We'll hold back the enemy until you get everyone out. Okay, don't get too crazy now. But break every bone in their body. No, no, no. According to Maya Fuyu, including, including X, ah, including X, there are five sensor leaders. All of them track experienced, well, more than experienced fighters. And we see that Sakamoto's like, hmm, okay. The order has probably taken out a few by now. How wrong could you be? Go to the wrong. How long could you be? Oh, please, please let me cut back. We just see Dogmo standing proud, being like, "Nah, I'd win." Please, please. I'm sorry, I'm trying to mentally prepare myself, yo. I can already smell the setup. I can smell it. I can smell it. I know the order's skill level. It would take a lot. Oh, see, why? See, why? This is purposeful. This is this is this is a setup. This is you know what? I'm flipping the script. Nagumo's still alive. No matter what happens at the end of this chapter, Nagumo's still alive. I'm, I'm gonna huff straight copium. I'm gonna huff straight liquid copium. Let's see. It will take a lot for them to lose a fight. Sure. Well, then there's mi you, Mr. Sakamoto. But you aren't like that, for real, for real. Huh? What's up, Mr. Saka? Gosh darn it! Nagumo, no! You were the chosen one! You were supposed to lead the order, not fall! That's so disrespectful, too. He used his own weapon. <laughs> okay, I'm, dead. I'm laughing. Because I, I, I can't cry. But, dog. He's so... Gaku literally said, fine. You like your own multi-tool so much? Here, you can eat it. And just pin bro there. Nakamo? Uh-oh. Sakamoto, you better start tweaking? Sakamoto, we need you off one. Right now. Sakamoto? Go crazy. Go stupid. Ah, ah, ah. Like, do, like, do it. Please. Let's talk about it. We need you. <laughs> He's just strolling up. It's rare to see you this beat up. Can you still fight? Gaku? <sighs> just observing the exhibit. I wonder if this is Suzuki or if this is Rion. But hold on. I'm gonna huff coat. Let me huff coat. I mean, first, 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 before I cope, the chapter's still worthy. Like I can't, like I can't even really get mad. Like, what am I gonna do? Blame Gaku for being good? Oh no, he's, he's good at his thing. Oh no, I'm mad at Naguma more. But let me see. Let me, let me, let me, let me see if I can pull out, yank out some of the most prime copium I can muster. All right, let me, let me, Jimmy Neutron, brain blast this one for y'all. I think, I think Nagumo switched places with Gaku. And here's why, here's why. Number one, we hi, we, well, one of the biggest things about Nagumo is that they're a master of disguise. This is like, this is like a consistent part of their character very, very quickly too. Like this is a thing that they do very consistently. They're always about the illusion, about the game. It's how he landed that hit on Gaku in 150. He threw the dice up, got Gaku distracted, and then pfft. And with the reestablishment that Nagumo is a tricky one, one who's built around distractions and flashy transformations and all this, it wouldn't shock me that the reason we cut away 
isn't just to off-screen Nagumo to cause shock value, but to not show us what happened. And the thing is, right? I don't think Gaku would do this. Gaku's not a... I mean, he's petty. <laughs> like, he's very petty. But in terms of leaving the body in one piece, Gaku wouldn't do that. Like, especially considering the type of weapon he wields, if he were to have beaten Nagumo into submission, his body would be in pieces. Like, at least the head would be off. But it's very clearly all in one piece. Sure, it's pierced with all the different parts of the multi-tool. But I don't know. I don't see it. And also, don't get me wrong, this seems very, very conclusive, right? But notice how Gaku doesn't respond. Not a nod, not a look or anything. What I think, what I think may have happened is after this interaction here where they both tagged each other, I do, th it's going to be straight, it's straight copium. You know it's straight copium from a Nagumo blazer. But I think... Nagumo locked in. You can tell by the look on it in his eyes here. He is locked in. And in fact, look at this eye. Look at this eye that he has. And then look at the eyes that Gaku has right here at the end of the chapter. That same almost lifeless indifference, which is clearly not characteristic to Gaku. Gaku has much more Exp like, sh same hauntingly empty eyes, but much more expression to them. I'm gonna hope and cope that Nagumo won. Because I'm huffing copium. It, it is entirely possible that Nagumo just got got and off screened. I just don't, like, I think Nagumo's a bit too important. I, I, do I need to, I, I'm gonna need to make a Sakamoto Days narrative wait to your list. But, like, I think Nagumo is just a bit too important and has a bit too much riding on him to be taken out like this in such a disrespectful way and also it's been well and long since established that he's a trickster a deceiver a bamboozler and a beguiler and i wouldn't be shocked if he just stole gaku's fit bandages clothes drip appearance and all and we open up next chapter and it's going to be uzuki asking what's wrong lost your tongue and, I mean, presumably, the only thing is, if Rion's in control, she'd recognize him. I'd have, I'd have to guess. I feel like Rion would know Nagumo's tricks well enough. And notably, Uzuki does recognize Gaku as Gaku. But this almost... The lifeless indifference doesn't feel characteristic of Gaku. Especially Gaku, who just overcame an extremely powerful opponent. Considering he literally says earlier on in the chapter, Huh. Looks like the old man... Isn't the only one who's worth a bit of fun. I don't I don't think he'd be so deadpan afterwards. You know who would be? Someone who was deadpan earlier. And someone who's had to lock in way before they wanted to. And plus it's it's the only way I can see the narrative progressing safely. And also this with Nagumo leaving in a similar vein to Nagumo not attacking Gaku while Gaku was down earlier on in the chapter. By leaving Gaku or Nagumo but Gaku in this state, you can just bring him back. It's kind of in the same way where Nagumo, where Gaku lost his hand to Takamoto and we thought we were all cooked, and then he just got reattached. Like, I, I genuinely think Gaku can still be alive after this. And it would make sense for Nagumo to want to catch Uzuki off guard by using the visage of someone they trust. That's what, that's what Nagumo does. So that's my copium. It is copium. Because it's most likely that Nagumo just lost. But... <laughs> However, wasn't one of the passwords I made for this, like, Nagabo, Nagabo solos? I hope I'm right. I hope I'm right, and I hope I got... I hope my ankles are being shattered on purpose here. But, regardless of all that, if you made all the way to the end of this video, please leave. Go did Gaku. Leave because I, I can't, I cannot pretend. Other than my copium, I cannot pretend this was a Nagumo W chapter. Leave goaded Gaku in the comment section down below. I would like to thank you so much for watching. Please remember to leave a like, share, comment, and subscribe. And make sure you hit that little case so you do not miss out on any videos that come to the channel. Also, also, I do happen to have a Patreon down below where you can support me for as little as one, count them one, down month, to get things like exclusive videos, early content, and more. You also now become a member to the channel for as little as three dollars a month to get the same perks and more. Some of those perks include ad free variations of all my videos. And live reactions to almost every other series that I review. Now, I would like to thank you so much for watching. Once again, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. This is Daggle the Pencil, writing off.
I'd like to give a thank you to our three dollar members: Connor Plays, Red Wolf Four Seven Six Five, Greyhound, and Akids Void. I'd like to give another thank you to our five dollar patrons: Victor, Sean, RNG Master, Midnight Gem Lord, Metal Solid Crisis, Kevin, Igneal. And Demix LND. I'd like to give another thank you to our seven dollar member, Autumn's Morning Lazo. I'd like to give another chunk of thank you to our ten dollar patrons, Robbie Uchia, Joaquin, Idemokami, and China Doll 09. I'd like to give a fat, juicy, scrumdilly thank you to our wonderful twenty five dollar member. Alex Ice Rose. I'd like to give another hefty, hefty, trifty, nifty thank you to our $25 patron, Calvin Elder.